All right, everybody, so the video you are about to watch, I am editing right now. I'm working on that right now, but I need to explain this. It'll make sense when you're watching the video. So I don't know if I was drunk, high as a kite, smoking crack, or what, but I was not thinking straight. And for all of you who do not know me, that was a joke. I don't smoke crack. That is weird. Who smokes crack? Anyways, what I'm trying to say is I don't know what I was thinking. I have a box this big. Um, should have filled up the box halfway, let it expand the other half. Like I said, this will make sense when you watch the video. I have to explain this because I know some of you, when you're watching this video, are going to say, what was he thinking? And as I'm editing the video, even after I got done the next day myself, I was asking the question, what was I thinking? So I'm just saying that now, enjoy the video. It will all make sense. I know what the hell was I thinking? I mean, the box is this big. It expands halfway. It would have expanded the other half. Anyways. Oh. And this is the box, by the way. So all in all, in the end, the box worked out. It works perfectly fine. Just to show you how fine it works, I'm in my apartment right now. We're going to slang some arrows at about 10 yards. And yeah. What is up, everybody, and welcome to the channel. Tagging Tales Outdoors. If you are new to the channel, please do me a favor. Go down below, hit that subscribe button. You are not going to miss what I post. Today's video is a little bit different. The past few weeks, I have been fishing. I have been just smashing the bass, caught some walleyes, and uh, we're getting into archery season, so I've been shooting my bow a lot. I've been scouting. I've been just doing archery stuff. And uh, today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a target by yourself. I spent $20 today on getting the supplies, and yeah. So we're going to make a target today using some great stuff and a box. You're going to need yourself a box. And we are going to turn it into this. So, my brother and I made this a long time ago. Now, what is nice about these targets, you can pick any size box you want. Now, when we go on archery trips and stuff, you know, and we travel, Instead of bringing a target from home, they're a little bit heavier, you know, they take up a lot of room, they're bulky. We just take this thing out, you know, we throw it next to the campsite, fire a few shots at it, make sure we're, you know, sighted in. And it's simple to get out of your truck, set it next to the woods, make a few shots at it, make sure you're sighted in. And this one, I don't know if you can see the back. It's taken a beat, and like I said, we've had this for six years now, and it works awesome. Um, today we're going to use this box. It's about the same size, um, maybe just a little bit bigger, but I recommend a little bit bigger box because you're going to want it, you know, you don't want your arrow to blow through it. You don't want a shoe box. I mean, you could use a shoe box, but... You don't want a shoe box a little bit bigger than a shoe box. Yeah, we need a box. We need some great stuff. I picked up five cans. I don't know how much cans it's going to take. Under $20 to get five cans plus my Red Bull. Yeah, I'm going to take you guys down into my basement. We're going to start filling this box because I don't want it to overflow onto my carpet or anything. So, let's get down into the basement. Let's start filling this box up with great stuff. First of all, what I'm going to do before I fill this is tape it. I'm going to tape uh, tape the box shut a little more. We don't want it expanding and blowing open on us, so we're going to tape it up. Okay, say we got her taped up. Let's just... Start filling it. Crack or open and just fill her up. All right, just fill her up. Whoa.
Well guys, one thing I forgot to mention, when working with this stuff, always make sure to have your gloves on, which I did not, and now my pinky is really sticky. You always want your gloves and your eyes. Stay safe when you're working on these projects. This stuff comes flying out of there. The cap, the first one, the cap came blowing off. <laughs> so, stay safe. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Well, all right, everybody. Just got done spraying all the great stuff inside of the box, and now I'm going to wait until tomorrow. We'll review it tomorrow and see what it turned out to be. Put a little dot in the center of it, and we will go shoot it and review it. But like I said, I've had this one now for a long time, sat in the back of my truck getting rained on, and it has held together for about six years now. Just throw a little bit of paint, a little bit of red, black, whatever paint you got in the center every now and then. And uh, yeah, I mean, the cardboard is still intact. If the cardboard comes off, it's still gonna hold its shape. You could even go and uh, put two holes in the box and tie a rope with some uh, knots on the end and uh, then fill up your box. Then you have something to, you got a little handle on it. But yeah, I mean, this weighs literally two pounds, if that, pound and a half. It's super light, and uh, yeah, it's about 200 degrees right now. Otherwise, I would just go shoot this one. But maybe later on, we'll go shoot this one. I'll just give you guys some shooting and some videos on shooting this older one. And then tomorrow... Um, Maybe we'll go shoot the new one, check it out, see how far the arrows are going in it at distances and stuff like that. While we wait for the other box to dry, let's figure out what to do from here. Well, y'all, decided to make some tacos while I wait. Not just any tacos. Like I said, archery season is around the corner. These are Veni tacos from a deer I shot last year. I figured the season's coming upon us. The couple little packs that I have been saving, I can now eat. God, I love tacos. All right, everyone. Well, I'm going to continue enjoying this amazing taco. I'm sorry for eating it like that in front of you. I know you're probably like, oh, that looks really good. Trust me. It's really good. <laughs> uh, I'm going to eat my taco. It's 3.30 right now. It's still 200 degrees outside. Um, maybe we'll go shoot the bow in a little bit, but... I'm gonna smash down some tacos. Video's not over yet. All right, everyone, well, made it to the archery range. Like I said, I was going to. Um, just got done eating those tacos a few hours ago. It is now about 6 p.m. It is still about 200 degrees out. I mean, I am dripping sweat right now. Just, 
I made it to the archery range. I got my target set up right there. I got my yellow jacket target, but right below it, right there, I have a foam target that we just made. That's the one that I've had in my truck now for years. So I'm just going to shoot at it, show you guys how it works, how far the arrows go in, you know, etc., etc. And then tomorrow when we check on the other one, we'll probably shoot that one also, paint a little dot on it. But yeah, let's shoot this and uh, show you guys how this great stuff foam box target works. All right, this 20 yards right here. All right, just took three shots at 20. Let's go look at the target and see uh, what it did. Now, let's pull this block out. So you can see it went through the back of the box maybe six inches. But like I said, this is an older target, so it's been blown through, blown through a lot. And uh, yeah, simple to remove. One hand with a little knee. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna continue shooting and we will tomorrow morning. I'll see you. I just got up a little bit ago. I came downstairs to check out the target and we had problems. We had some problems. <laughs> So yeah, I got down here and I seen there was foam everywhere. I mean, here's a picture of what it looked like when I first seen it. So I took my knife and I cut all that foam off the top and off the wall and I got a nice hole in it and in the middle of it, it is still soft. It still wants to expand. So we're just gonna let it keep doing its thing. Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, like I said, it's been a while since I made one of those. I think the last one my brother and I made, we took the box, we put a can or two in it, you know, we let it sit overnight, do its thing and expand. This one, I just, five cans and I just full send. <laughs> oh God still liquid in the center it's still soft like it's still expanding i don't know jesus so i think we're just gonna let it sit down there another day hopefully tomorrow i don't have to peel it off the wall again we'll see we'll see what happens we might have to just start over i'm really hoping not Alright guys, I got you on my bow mount right now. We got an arrow. We got the target. We are down my hall. I am literally 10 yards away. And uh, yeah. Well, there it is folks target works fine as you can see just shot it in my apartment 10 yards away